Hello and welcome to another video of mine and today we will be going over how to quickly install FSLTL uh, models for VATSIM and for the injector as well if you wish to use the real traffic situation. As always links will be in the description below and if you have any questions please do drop a comment below and I'll do my absolute best to answer them. Okay so the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to the FlybyWire website uh, all again, all the links will be below. You want to hit installer and hit download. Download onto your system and basically run the installer. Once you've done that, you'll be greeted with this page here. Set up the general settings of where you want stuff to install, etc. I've got it all set up uh, uh, like on different hard drives and I hyperlink from there to uh, my community folder using the add-on add -on linker or manager. But what you want to do is you're on the left here, the third item right here, so you need to install the FS LTL traffic base models and also install the injector. If you're only doing this for VATSIM model matching, you don't have to worry about the injector. But if you want the live traffic uh, when you fly, etc., then you will need the injector. So once they're installed, you simply just need to load up the sim itself. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is when you load up Microsoft Flight Sim is go to options, go to general options, go to traffic, and ground airport density is zero make sure you set this to zero it is very important otherwise it will you'll you'll have weird aircraft all over the shop you have max or flight sim trying to inject planes and the fs uh, l uh, tl also trying to inject aircraft and it becomes a very big mess okay so what you want to do is you want to go onto this website called flightplandatabase.com make an account and then once you've made an account, you're just going to go up here, go to settings, and then go to the API access, create a new API, copy the API, because you will need that in the next step. Right, so what you want to do next is load up the fly-by-wire installer again, and go to the FSLTL traffic injector, and hit start. And that will bring up a command prompt here, and we're just going to minimize this. So you agree created with this here. And what you want to do is, now I've obviously gone through the settings here, but you'll be seen, you'll be greeted with none of this, and it will basically say along the lines of, um, would you like to change the time or something? Um, just hit Y on your keyboard and hit yeah, or Enter to initiate yes. And what it's going to do is it's going to give you each prompt individually. So the Max Moon Active uh, IFR aircraft, so it says here, uh, if you put zero, then enter, it would actually disable that. Now I've gone through some settings here, so I've got 80 for that. For the VFR, I've only got 15. There's not many VFR ones. Um, it's mainly IFR. So we've got 80 for IFR, 15 for VFR. Additional parked aircraft. Now zero is again disabled. Uh, 10 is maximum. Now I've gone for the middle ground, so I've tried five. If you're getting some performance hits with this, then obviously you feel free to lower the numbers and as you can see here um, each time you load it it says would you like to change the settings you can either hit yes or no um, and then you've got the max radius uh, to inject the aircraft so between 50 and 200 kilometers um, so I've gone for 150 I might actually drop that down to about 100 um, I'm still playing with the settings uh, so you've got the blocked aircraft removal time so what this means is if an aircraft is just causing an issue, say it's had a bit of a hiccup, an aircraft is parked on the runway and it's just causing an issue or whatever, uh, it will just literally send it to the shadow realm. It will just remove it. Uh, now, this is in intervals of seconds, so I've gone for 30 seconds. So if something's blocking for something for too long, for up to 30 seconds, it will just remove it. Then you'll be greeted with the flight plan database API key that I told you a minute ago. So you copy that and you simply hit control V to paste it into here and hit enter. And that's it. That is literally how it goes through. So like I said, by all means, play with these settings, find the optimal one that's best suits you. You can disable part aircraft if you want. You can only have part aircraft if you wish to have that and nothing flying. Um, but yeah, go for that basically. So. Once you've got that all set up and you've loaded it again, uh, it says here, do you want to change them? So I'm just going to hit N for no, enter, and injection started. And you'll see this start to populate in a second. And just keep in mind, now I wasn't aware of this. I thought I broke it at first. Um, but it, it can take a little bit of time to really get going. Um, now, some people that I've been speaking to says it, it only takes them literally a few seconds. 
um, uh, but other people uh, like myself it can take a little bit of time as you can see so here we go you can see it populating all through here and as you can see in the simulator back here aircraft are being drawn oh there we go and there's the performance hit so it's gone a little bit laggy just while it's injecting all those aircraft and as you can see here the gate is being uh, taken to the aircraft on this one here now I've tested this on a few airports right now um, I'm at any builds uh, LA new scenery that just got uh, released yesterday in fact um, but as you can see the, the gateways are being connected to the AI aircraft here's another one here some aren't some are here's another one here that's not down to the scenery per se it's just down to the actual injector um, that I've found anyway through testing and it's it's pretty pretty damn good when it comes to the correct type of airlines that will be here so again we're at LA and you can see American Airlines we've got a Spirit here uh, we've got some jet blues there as well and over here we've got some southwest uh, that have loaded up we've got deltas here so it does put them that i've seen through testing in the correct locations and it's it's pretty cool actually i'm not gonna lie um that seems like a really awkward gate to be in um so yeah and if you give it some more time again it can take up to it can take up to about 10 minutes to really get going um, and if I bring it back up here, you can see it's probably, yeah, it's still injecting aircraft. Uh, so push back from ramp from here, from there, from here. Um, but if you just literally let it run, so and in start injecting the traffic, go get a cup of tea or something, come back, and it'll probably be ready to really rock and roll. So if you want to do some plane spotting or something, uh, using flight radar, um, by all means, just, just give it a bit of time to really start throwing the traffic in there, okay? Okay, so regarding VATSIM with this, all you need to do is load up vPilot, go to settings, go to model matching, go to custom rules, and you want to add a custom rule. So click custom rule, and what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to wherever you've installed FSLTL, traffic base. And in this core file folder here, you will see this file right here, FSLTL underscore rules and it is a VMR file. That is what you're looking for. So all you're gonna simply do is on vPilot here, you're gonna add custom rule, navigate to this folder and select it. As you can see here, I've got it selected here and that is literally all you have to do. If you are using anything else for model matching, remove it. Just either remove it from vPilot here or just remove it from your computer. Um, but that is all you need to do. So you can ignore this Moto model. That's for a custom livery that I've got. Um, so if you're using nothing else, all you should see in the custom rule here is the FSLTL underscore rules dot VMR. And that is it. You hit OK. And model matching rules generated. That is it. The models are stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. They look incredible. Absolutely incredible. And regarding nighttime uh, with the AI lights, um, as you can see, the airport's lit up beautifully, but the, the planes themselves, they are using the correct lights. They've got the beacons on, they've got the taxi lights on, the runway turnoffs, the nav lights, even the tail lights as well. Um, all of them, they've all got them on um, and it looks just incredible. And say you're done with the flight, etc., and you wanna shut down the sim. Um, regarding to close the injector, as we can see here, it's still running. You simply go back into the fly-by-wire installer here, click on the injector and hit stop and hit confirm. And done. That's it. It's stopped running. Uh, as you can see, there is nothing else generated. I'm now a very, very lonely plane at LA. And at the top of the screen here, we do have a new option uh, for the traffic. So your two options are reset traffic injector or remove nearby traffic. So the reset one is a very self-explanatory one. It will literally remove all the aircraft and reload the injector basically and start it all afresh. And if there's any aircraft uh, close to you, then you just simply click this and they will be gone. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And again, if you've got any questions or anything, do drop a comment below and I will do my absolute best to uh, help you out and reply. I hope you have a fantastic day and until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.